What is going on guys? It is Kayla and today I'm bringing you a brand new Call of Duty World War II video. So as you can see, uh, well, my webcam is not working. I got home from vacation, started up a recording and well, here we are in a pickle because it does not work. So after this video, I'm going to get a new webcam so we don't have this issue in further videos. But for right now, we have no webcam. But that's fine, guys. That is okay. So before I start this video, this title is completely a joke. If the game isn't a beta, I know someone will get butt hurt in the comments. But uh, yeah, this game is not a beta. But I just felt like being funny and having something to do with COD World War II beta in my title. Because I don't know. I laughed. I think it's funny. So And when I was on vacation, I saw that there is a huge update coming to World War II. Absolutely insane game changing it's gonna change the game like there's there's nothing else to say about it then it's gonna change the game because it really will be they're adding so much removing a lot nerfing stuff buffing stuff it's just not gonna be the same game i'm pretty excited about it overall i want to know your opinions down below i'm gonna leave the patch notes itself in the description in case someone wants to see it because there is so much in this patch that i cannot talk about everything i'm only gonna talk about the basic stuff that i see and the things that like i want to point out so the first thing i'm gonna talk about is what they're adding overall to the game is they're adding three primary attachments for all the loadouts every single gun you're gonna have three attachments which is awesome which means you don't need prime i'll get to that in a second because they are going to be removing it if you have not heard so they're having that you're going to have three primary attachments for every loadout that's awesome amazing i'm a fan of that you're also going to have every single division will have a fourth perk so four perks to use in the division every single loadout you'll be able to have a tactical and a lethal as of the second you could only have one or the other so now you'll be able to have both doesn't really affect me i see a lot of like pro players complaining about like smokes and whatever but it's all good. I don't really care about that. And another thing that I'm absolutely excited for, so happy, is the unlimited sprint. I know everyone is talking about this because World War II is kind of slow. A lot of people camp. A lot of people just, I don't know, they don't run around. They pre-aim every corner and do whatever, whatever they do. But now we are going to have unlimited sprint. Wait, and I'm so excited for that because I love running around. I love using SMG. I love getting into people's faces and just, you know, and having like a gunfight close range. So I'm excited for the unlimited sprint that will be added. I think that's going to make the game so much better, more fast paced. Overall, just a better game. Now, the main point of this video is the basic trainings that are going to be added and going to be removed to this game so the first basic training that they are going to be removing is primed so primed is my favorite basic training as the second which basically you get another attachment to your gun and also you will flinch less when being shot at so they're removing this basic training but they are adding this overall like you're gonna have your third attachment no matter what so you're losing it but gaining it in some other sense because you're gonna have it overall in the new update you're actually gonna gain something because you will be using another basic training instead of using prime so it's kind of better actually overall and then next basic training that they are removing is bang now to be honest i've actually never touched this basic training in my life but i know if you have this basic training on you are allowed to have another tactical equipment doesn't really affect me but overall they're adding this because you're going to be able to have a tactical and a lethal equipment in every single loadout so they're removing the basic training but adding this overall in the game so you're not exactly losing it if you do use it so both basic trainings are being removed now they are going to add two new basic trainings to the game one is blitz create now i think i said that right hopefully i did but this basic training is for people that Go for V2s, go for high killed games, a lot of streaks, all that. This basic training will be for you. In this basic training, your streaks are going to be earned by kills. So if you are a kill heavy kind of person, you should use this basic training because, you know, it will benefit you. The bonus to using this basic training is, is that the streaks are improved, so they are better. And you are able to have a fourth streak. Now that is game changing, absolutely insane having four streaks. So if you're just about that kill life and just kill everyone and you're a beast, then uh, you can get four streaks. That is amazing. There hasn't been any other COD where you are allowed four streaks that I believe. I'm pretty sure there isn't. That's definitely different to Call of Duty in general. So that's awesome. And the last thing I'm going to be talking about is the new basic training called Clanstein. I don't know if I said that right. I'm hoping I didn't butcher it, but I probably did, to be honest. So this 
basic training kind of reminds me of a sit rep type of thing. The description of this basic training is slain enemies drop incel packs that reveal nearby hostiles. So basically they're gonna drop a pack. If you pick the pack up, a ping will appear on your screen, you know, on your radar, and it will show you where the enemies are located that are by you. I feel like a lot of people could use that if they're, you know, campy type of person just to see where the enemies are, or you could be a rusher and you know, you're just trying to get more kills. You just pick up the little pack and uh, just try to slay out. Now the bonus for using this basic training is that every time you spawn up, a ping will appear in the beginning of your life so you're gonna be able to see where the enemies are just in the beginning when you spot up now that's pretty cool very different I've never seen anything like that that is very different it's kind of like you get an instant UAV once you spot up so that's pretty awesome now overall in this patch I can't go through everything but there is a lot of just buffs nerfs to like weapons to other basic trainings to like everything so again I'm gonna leave the patch notes in my description so if you guys want to check it out you know go check it out I think that is the end of today's video we got the DLC 2 that's coming up tomorrow I am super excited so guys make sure you check out my videos tomorrow I'm gonna probably upload like two to three tomorrow I'm gonna go ham on these uploads and guys if you did happen to enjoy this video make sure you drop a like on it if you're new and you haven't subscribed i would appreciate that as well thank you guys for watching i'm out peace yeah she's got some nice long hair and you know that she's a bad chick all the boys there can't help it it's a habit clothes that she wears short skirt and a jacket i just want to get her all alone on a mattress i just want to have it i just gotta have it boomers all around say her body is fantastic all natural not a piece of fur is plastic head to her toes yeah they say that she's a lash yeah the whispers all around say she has a reputation don't Believe it till I see it, so I want a demonstration And I've always learned it better with a hands-on education So I need a private session if you get what I am saying And they say that she's not easy, no she's really complicated